Hello. Uh, today I like to talk about the uh, asset protection planning and strategies. What it means is uh, that the choice and use of the proper entities for protection of your business and real estate. It's important. Do not use the poor man's asset protection with transferring assets to to brothers, sisters, or friends, and also using the home estate exemptions is important for your properties, which varies amongst the states, and uh, shield your business and the uh, property, real estate property from the judgments shields your uh, personal and business properties from uh, any risk and also have sufficient uh, insurance coverage for all of your properties and uh, sufficient amount of uh, uh, insurance and also if it is necessary purchase uh, umbrella above whatever that you coverage. Those are the areas that are uh, important to, for each individual or business people, but the most important that it's related to my um, area of the uh, expertise are the uh, having proper uh, choice of entity, which is very important. Uh, your, uh, if you have a real estate property, rather than having under the individual is a rental property, it's better to have a, a limited liability company, multi-level or multi-member limited liability company form, properly form and property done and continue. To have our uh, real estate properties inside of that with the transfer of those property inside of the LLCs. If you have real estate which is under somebody else or yourself and is not properly transferred under the limited liability company, then you don't have shields on the uh, assets uh, protection. And those LLCs, they have to be run properly. So if you are putting everything under your individual on a Schedule E, you are open for all kinds of risks because you are exposed. But if you have a limited liability company under the, let us say, one property, that's very good, and you have multiple properties, sometimes it might be better for each you form a limited liability company to reduce risk of the any uh, judgment or risk of uh, any uh, lawsuit. And uh, another thing that uh, a limited liability partnership is formed most of the time for uh, professionals such as attorneys or uh, doctors and so forth. The reason they have LLP is that uh, if one of the, let us say, members or one of the professionals, they have some kind of wrongdoing, that limited liability partnership doesn't go to the risk, doesn't go to the other uh, members, just stay with that member only. So this is done for protection of the other members of the uh, LLP. But in case of the limited liability company or uh, corporation, this doesn't uh, have any place. So now, what what is the? You could have also S corporation or C corporation. Of course, C corporation has higher uh, taxes. You paying double taxation. You paying taxes on the uh, federal and state level, and then on the dividend also you paying taxes. But this corporation, it would be beneficial because you are paying salary and pass through to your personal. 
So overall, I thought that uh, these are the areas that uh, it's good to have it because if you have your business, let us say, under your uh, personal or Schedule C or sole proprietor, then you are on your own and then you don't have any asset protections or let us say business protections. So with having a corporation, also you are protecting yourself or in other words, reducing the risk of the, any judgment or uh, any loss. So it is not that 400% you are eliminating, but you are reducing the, the risk. So if you have a, uh, let's just say, property, business property, and also in that business property, you're doing the, the let's just say, business, any kind of business, best is that that property have under the LLC and then your business pays rent like a kind of another person to that uh, LLC. So we are separating that LLC from your business. So those are another asset protections. And uh, I thought that these are important for every individual that uh, doing business or even not doing business. Thank you for watching. Shout out to the young.